Hello mga alamat! Welcome na naman sa ating PSEI Market Overview. No? Now as always, magsisimula po tayo sa weekly chart and then we'll work our way down sa daily chart para makita natin in greater detail kung ano nga ba yung nangyayari over the past couple of weeks. Now, some of the more eagle-eyed among you may have noticed na inadjust ko na ng konti yung levels ko. And that's because nagkaroon na tayo ng bagong structure, no? Okay? Now, this will be our last market overview video for 2022. So before we proceed, I would just like to thank all of you for watching and supporting yung mga videos natin. I truly appreciate it. Now, dito sa weekly chart ng PSEI, kung pupunahin natin, uh, nagkaroon tayo ng ilang straight weeks ng pag-angat, no? Now, when we last looked at this chart, we were somewhere around this area, di ba? Uh, from there, walang, wala namang ganun nangyari, no? We tried to push higher, halos inabot natin itong level of resistance at 6.883, di ba? It comes from this previous swing high here. Pero nabitin ng konte and in fact, this week's candle, okay, yung uh, three candles prior, closed as a shooting star. After that, parang nag lang tayo within the general area here. Okay? So from the weekly chart, there's really not all that much to glean in the sense na wala gaanong nangyari eh. Diba? Pero bakit pa tayo tumingin? Kasi kung titingnan natin dito sa weekly chart, yung pag-angat natin, kahit na hindi pa natin nakikita in greater detail sa lower time frames, eh very steep talaga yung move. We had 1, 2, 3, 4 straight green candles, nagpahinga lang ng sandali, then 3 more straight green candles sa sunod-sunod yung pag-angat. Diba? If you zoom in, you will notice most of these candles just keep taking out previous week's high. Nagbago lang yan after this candle. Okay? So, based purely on the weekly chart, ano yung mga pwede nating i-anticipate na scenarios? Una, pwede na mag-consolidate na lang tayo for the remainder of the year. After all, it's not that long na. It's just a couple more weeks. ba? The other one is, maybe, hindi na tayo mag-conso, baka enough na yan. And we push higher and everyone has a Merry Christmas and the index goes back to around 6.8. The other scenario is, baka mabasag niya itong 6.4 na nag-form as support. And if that happens, we might come back to trade within this range between 6,080 hanggang 6,442. Now, hindi pa natin ma-refine gaano yon dito sa time frame na to kasi wala kang makitang structural level sa area na yun eh. However, you will notice na ito, nag tayo dito before, nag tayo dito before. So if price does push down there, hindi naman siguro na agulat kung mag tayo doon ulit. Now, that might also end up forming a very big and odd-shaped inverse head and shoulders pattern. If that happens, then maybe in Q1 2023, kahit na medyo towards the latter end, eh makabuo tayo ng magandang foundation or magandang structure na pwede nating sandalan for future potential trade ideas. Now, let's go down to the daily time frame and see what else we can observe. Now, dito sa daily time frame, ano-ano naman yung mga pwede nating punahin now that we can look at the chart with more details, no? Number one, uh, when we came up here, actually, nauntog tayo dito sa structure high na to, di ba? May maliit tayo na swing high dyan. And although para sa akin, mas significant tong high na to at 6883, it's still a swing high. A very small swing high, but a swing high nonetheless. Tapos, inflection point din siya. It acted as resistance here, support there, resistance here, and so on. Okay? So, nung nakahanap tayo na reaction dito, hindi siya sobrang naagulat. Pero, yung nangyaring reaction is yung ayaw na ayaw nating makita. Break above, immediate na reclaim ng kabilang candle, and then after that, tumuloy na nga tayo. Now, ang nangyari dito is nag-form tayo ng low at 6442. Nag-bounce ng konti yung price. Hindi natin nare-reclaim pa tong high na to, albeit hindi pa tapos, no? hindi pa buo yung structure. Eh. So, ano yung mga pinangingatan natin? Ang ayaw ko sanang makita is for price not just to reclaim 6442, 
pero mabasag din pati tong 6350 na level. Kung nangyari yon, baka ang next na maganap is umangat yung price, mauntog tayo beneath this previous area, and then we roll over at balikan natin tong 6,000 to 6,100 na area of support dito sa baba. Kung mapapansin nyo, malaki tong area na to. Hindi lang tong basta 6,000 hanggang 61. It can go all the way hanggang dito sa 5980. And that's because marami ng mga levels na naipon sa area na to. So, kung bumabaman yung price, my expectation is hopefully, ba? mag-hold tayo sa area na to. Siyempre, ideally, ayaw na natin makita ulit doon. We want a good launch, a good push sa start ng Q1. Pero hindi naman natin mapipilit yun eh. Hindi, na, hindi naman natin kayang diktahan ng markado eh. Diba? If we come down here, tapos mag-print tayo ng potential higher low, I think that's still good. Pero, I say I think, kasi hindi pa natin nakikita eh. I still want to see what the chart looks like overall should that happen. So, meron tayong ideal scenario, meron tayong okay scenario, but what we really, really don't want to see is tuluyan na tong mabasag, pati yung 5.9 makuha. Kasi kung ganon, the likelihood is either we fill this gap na naiwan dito, or balikan natin yung support at 5,700. Okay? Now, pwede rin, as we said kanina, na mag muna tayo. And dito, sa daily time frame, since mas marami tayong nakikitang detalye, pwedeng ang consolidation niya ay maganap between 6442 hanggang dito sa 6750. Okay? Now, pwede ba lagpas doon? Sure. Pero hindi lang tayo magugulat kung sakali man na doon siya mauntog. Diba? Yun naman yung point ng video na to eh. Is para makapaghanda tayo sa mga potential scenarios that could happen moving forward and see if meron siyang confluence sa mga trade ideas na naiisip natin for other uh, stocks like mga Ayala or kung ano man, mga index names or second liners or what have you. Okay? So, aside from that, meron pa ba tayong pwedeng punahin dito sa daily time frame? I would say na yung overall structure natin hindi pa rin nagbabago. Ito yung previous last high. Nag-form ng lower low. Nung umangat tayo dito, hindi pa rin tayo nakabuo ng higher high. ba? We never broke this level. Kung nakabuo tayo ng higher high from there, diba, nasira natin yung structure, then that will be a good thing, I think. Diba? Sana hindi siya yung parandalian lang, sana hindi siya fake out. If we get that, then mas madaling maghanap for potential higher lows na pwede nating sandalan. And from there, mag-iiba yung view at approach natin dito sa index. So guys, before we end this video, i just like to greet each and every single one of you. A Merry Christmas and a Happy New Year, no? And if you haven't seen yung technical indicator ranking video natin, be sure to check it out. I've put it somewhere on the lower left-hand side of your screen. Okay? It should be coming up sometime around now. And as always, good luck in all your trades, GT, over and out.